All right, so I'm about to walk you through this step-by-step -step process of ISO ramping and then PELS rails, or excuse me, PELS contractions. So ISO ramping to bring a stronger neurological drive to the area that we're focused on and then PELS contraction to increase that drive even more through the action of the movement. So for him, it's the MCL. We can do the same thing for the LCL. Um, so what we've done is we brought his knee into flexion at 90 degrees. So that's just putting automatically the quad onto length, stretching at length. And right now we're at 90 degrees because that's just where his quad is allowing us to be able to stretch with uh, leverage and comfortability. So this is our problematic area. So we got his knee rotated externally. If we were doing the MCL, or excuse me, if we were doing the LCL, then he would have his foot rotated internally. Go ahead and rotate the foot. And we would be focusing out here. But he is MCL. So the foot's gonna be uh, uh, externally rotated. I'm gonna trap the inside of that foot. So now when he goes, or excuse me, that's step two for pelvis contraction. So now my finger goes right here, right up on that discomfort. So he's just gonna engage. He's not gonna use his foot yet. He's just gonna try to create a contraction right where my finger is. And go, he's trying to engage. No foot is moving. Just literally, this is what we call iso ramping. He's trying to isolate this area and, and drive. He's gonna ramp a neurological contraction into this area. Can he get this stuff to contract without movement? and rest so you want to do anywhere from an eight to maybe a 10 second engagement uh take a breath about three to five seconds rinse and repeat go again and do this you hit the clock for a minute and a half uh to two minutes you're doing this literally then after that once we've done that we'll do some knee cars he'll do some rotations back and forth these are called capsular cars we're just going in rotation in this specific angle of 90 degrees we can add some extension and he brings it back and then go into internal rotation then he brings it back out then he brings it back in and he rinses and repeats that for a couple of reps now we're going to trap the foot and do a pelvis contraction pelvis contraction is where he's gonna actually drive his foot into me doing a pelvis contraction. So he's trying to rotate this foot, uh, AKA the knee to go internal rotation, still driving contraction into all of this stuff here. Again, same eight to 10 count and rest. And the biggest piece of this all is you want to ensure you are managing your effort levels of engagement what the tissue is telling you. If that tissue is saying, hey, this is my limit, then that's it, you stay within that limit. You do not exceed that limit of sensation. Um, yeah, and that is what I got for you. I wanted to show this to you. So get after it, boom.